All right, so day two in Duras. Today we're heading to its probably most famous attraction. A Roman amphitheater. A Roman amphitheater from a long time ago. A date in which I do not know. A date in which we do not yet know, but that's why we're going, to learn about it. All righty, so here we are. We are at the Duras Amphitheater. We're gonna go inside. There's a, an entry fee, so we're gonna go pay that and then get inside. Watch your step. <laughs> the fuck is down there? I will right, check that out in a minute. Wow. This is fucking awesome. Have you hit a crossroads? Yeah, I don't want to cross it here. I think it's not worth taking that risk. Uh, I think you'd be fine. All right, let's see. Get down and around. Yeah, it's an easy climb. Be careful. Not a good place to tumble. So, we are inside, sitting where they would have sat during the Roman times. How cool is that? Very, very cool. Very cool. So this amphitheater they discovered in 1966. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of built into the side of a hill. So there was a construction project and they were gonna kind of carve into the hill. And while they were carving into the hill, they discovered this amphitheater and discovered that they had already kind of begun building over parts of it, which is why you see those buildings over there uh, where where uh, stadium seating like this would have been also. So they think that they only have less than half of this fully excavated and they do have plans to excavate uh, more of it. But just to give you a, 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 an idea of the scale of this, about a year and a half ago it would have been, uh, we went to the amphitheater in Pula. And we do have a video on that uh, up on our page also. It was so much bigger. So much bigger. So much, bigger. So much uh, better preserved. Yeah, oh, for I sure. I mean, that was a big part of it. Better preserved. The walls um, and the arches were all there. Yeah. However, this amphitheater would have been about twice the size of that um, as far as seating compa capacity is concerned. This was the largest amphitheater built on the Balkan Peninsula by the Romans. Uh, and I can just imagine seeing the full thing We'll try to find, there's gotta be some sort of artist rendition of what this would have looked like. We'll try to find that and put it in the video because you can tell even just from seeing half of it, the scale of this amphitheater. Okay, we have much to explore in this amphitheater. Let's check out this staircase. It's really so crazy to think how old this is. Look at that. Entryway there. Looks like almost like a well in there. Let's see if we can see from this window a little bit better. Oh, hey, look, we can go out. Wild. 
dangerous. There's more stairs? Look at that. Yep, that's where I'm going. Are you going down there? Yeah, of course. Be careful. There we go. Oh, wow, this is kind of cool. Old, what is that, like Freemason stuff? That's wild. I need photos of that. What's this about? So crazy, they almost had like art built into the walls down here. Here, are you good? Yeah, is it worth coming down? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And? Alrighty. Careful. Ah, there we go. There we go. There we go. It's kind of cool. There's like old. Shit, what was this? It's like a stove or an oven? No, oh, stove. Look, look, look at the top here. There's yes. details in the wall. This is pretty wild. Yeah, I don't know how they were cooking. Why does this look like a grave? Because <laughs> <laughs> maybe it is. <laughs> yeah. Looks kind of sketchy to me. Oh, here, this is what we were looking at before. Oh, whoa, oh, that's so awesome. Cool. Check this out. Oh, I would love it. It's like an old mosaic. Though. I love mosaics. Oh, wow. Okay, that's super cool. Could you imagine just digging one day and finding this under I can't. I don't know how those expeditions work. No. Okay. You have to be so careful. We can't sell enough how cool it is to be in this amphitheater right now. It's mm -hmm. so old and there's like symbolism everywhere. And I just love to think about like at the time, what were people doing here? What were they talking about? What were they wearing? Yeah. Like times were just times were different. different. Alrighty, let's keep exploring. Fire pit. Looks like it, right? <laughs> See if we can get out onto the grass here. Watch your head. Oh, sweet. Almost there. Alrighty. It'd be so cool to have this right outside your window. Oh my goodness. All the yeah, time. <laughs> every day. And on accident too. Yeah. Who knows if I moved in there before this was found. <laughs> yeah, so being down here on the ground now, you really get a good idea for how many people could have sat in these stands at one point. I'm surprised there were that many people. What do you mean, just here in general? Yeah, like getting twenty thousand people to come to an event. Not much else to do. I guess not much else to do. You can see up ahead though, you see how it kind of just ends? Well, this is where I believe they're going to, or they're planning to continue the excavation uh, of the site and bring more of this amphitheater out from underneath the rock. You can see there, it, it goes up much higher than it is now, or at least it used to go up much higher than it is now. Um, and that's just, I guess, a side effect of being very old. But look, you can see, they are they are kind of digging up. I wonder when the last time they tended to this yeah. was, but they are kind of digging up even deeper. I guess this would be kind of the same thing as over there. I mean, look at what we're standing on. We're standing on stone right now. Like who knows in when they're done excavating this, it could possibly be the top of an arch or top of a wall, but right now it's just a piece of stone in the grass. It's so crazy you have this this archway <laughs> and then literally right behind it is someone's house. We were taking a photo and a stray dog, you know, just kind of stood behind us. Yeah. Spooked is an understatement. <laughs> Spooked, understatement. <laughs> Back to the amphitheater. Uh, Can't just ignore the dog. Need to figure out what's in here. Ah, and the answer is nothing. Some weird smells, right? Oh, and it's wet. Oh, hmm. I wonder why it smells here. I wonder how deep this would have went. Well, these are the archways that you were talking about, by the way. That is very I mean, this could have just been. How did this get filled in? I don't know, but there's some sort of water dripping. 
Alrighty, so that is the Duras Amphitheater made by the Romans thousands of years ago. In Albania. In Albania. And if it wasn't for the really scary stray dog, the amphitheater gets a 10 out of 10. <laughs> scary dog knocks it down. A scary dog is a little, is a little a scary sketchy. dog. <laughs> Yeah. A little sketchy. Interested to see what they do with this in the next couple of years for sure. Interested to see if there's more stray dogs within this amphitheater. Oh, at least five. I won't be looking. 